हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज ए केस ऑफ लैप्रोस्कोपिक रिपेयर ऑफ ए स्मॉल सेवन ईयर ओल्ड चाइल्ड एंड वी विल परफॉर्म द लैप्रोस्कोपिक पर्स स्ट्रिंग सुचरिंग अराउंड द डीप रिंग सो वेरियस नीडल हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यू टू सुपराम लाइकल एंड हेयर वी आर कीपिंग प्रीसेट प्रेशर ओनली एट एंड द फ्लोर रेट इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन लीटर पर मिनट सो सक्सन इरीगेशन एंड हैंगिंग ड्रॉप टेस्ट इज डन and now the insufflator is connected and we can see now homogeneous distension of the abdomen started and the amount of gas required in pediatric patient is generally 200 ml into the age so he will take approximately 1400 ml gas that is 1.4 liter to achieve the 8 mm of mercury so now we can see distension is complete and then we will remove the various needle and we will put the optical port for telescope and here we are going to perform the surgery by two ipsilateral port so pneumoperitoneum is almost complete and uh, actual pressure has reached to the preset pressure that is 8 mm of mercury now various needle is removed and the incision is enlarged for the optical trocar so we have to guard the trocar with the index finger in such a way that it should be very smoothly inter without going much deeper because in pediatric patients the aortas are very nearer to the abdominal wall and we have to be careful now the telescope is introduced and these are the two ipsilateral port we have to be careful by putting the finger and indentation so that we should not injure the inferior epigastric vessel of the opposite side so this patient has the left side inguinal hernia that is congenital and basically in that you will have the you know defect in the mostly in the pediatric you will only get the indirect inguinal hernia so this is the second port that will be for right hand instrument now third port will be at the level of umbilicus and this is the third port is introduced so now all the port is introduced and we will start the surgery first we will start the diagnostic and we can see that here is the left side indirect inguinal hernia this is the hernia in this patient right side is normal right side has no hernia now needle we will introduce percutaneously in pediatric patient it is very easy to introduce the needle by just pricking from the anterior abdominal wall and with the needle holder we can pull here we are using ethy bond that is 20 with the 24 mm needle that is curve needle round body and suture length is 20 cm so now we will start the persisting suture from the lateral and we have to encircle the entire peritoneum all around and the suturing is started from the 10 o'clock position you should not so have any skip area you should take the purse string thoroughly and only peritoneum should be taken in this purse string 
केयर शुड बी टेकन दैट स्पर्मेटिक वेसल और वास डिफरेंस और इलियक वेसल शुड नॉट बी एक्सीडेंटली प्रिक्ड सो लेफ्ट हैंड इज सपोर्टिंग दैट द नीडल शुड नॉट गो डीपर एंड दिस इज अ सेकेंड बाइट टेकन now the third bite will be taken the peritoneum in between the vas deferens and spermatic vessel so here we are going anti clockwise because it is left side so it is easy to go anti clockwise with the needle holder in the right hand and in the right side it is easy to go clockwise so left hand is stretching the peritoneum in between the vas deferens and spermatic vessel in the triangle of doom and it will take in the third bite care should be taken that vas deferens or sper spermatic vessel should not be pricked and iliac vessel should must be not pricked because as the name suggests it is triangle of doom so you have to be careful now next bite we will take at 3 o'clock position and that should be medial to the inferior epi lateral to the inferior epigastric vessel and you should must be careful that inferior epigastric should not be pricked and a deep peritoneal bite should be taken and it should reach up to the your starting knot starting bite and it should not have any escape area so it is better to go up to the first prick after that we will tie the knot so here we will take three wrap so that after taking the bite it should not slip back so generally in surgeons knot we take the two wrap first time but here three wrap will be taken so that it will not slip back then the knot will be tightened and you have to see that ring should completely close because they don't have hypertrophic sac so just closing the peritoneum will do the job and we can see peritoneum is closed after that needle end we will cut because tail is big so you will use the tail end to take the again the reverse c and c so now needle end is taken to hold and then these are the second and third knot will be tightened after that you should put the light cable of the telescope down and you should go nearer to the deep ring so see that it is completely closed and we can see defect is closed and there is no pressure over the vas deferens and spermatic vessel
now the excess of the suture will be cut and the needle and the suture will be removed. So, thank you for watching this video. This was just a simple case of indirect left sided inguinal hernia in a pediatric patient.